Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I've been in this workshop well over two years now and I'm really pleased with it. It's a great space and it would be perfect for what I do if I didn't film things. It's a fine space, but the camera, the lights, tripods, they take up so much room. So what I wanna do is have a bit of reorganize. I kind of show you what I think. So I was just stood against that wall and I had my homemade tripod and this big light and that's fine. But if I wanna use the table saw, I then have to move all that equipment at the back against that wall and face that way to see me cutting through the table saw. And then the same if I'm working over here, all that stuff has to be moved around. So what I wanna do is set it up so that the camera and the lights can just stay in this central portion and be pivoted round depending on which way I want to shoot. So that sounds a reasonable plan but the first thing I've got to do then is start stripping things out and I think while I'm stripping everything out I might as well really go for it and give everything a fresh coat of paint while I do it. So let's get to work. So the first job is to get all these tool holders down from the wall. Now, I only built these last year and they're coming down already, but don't worry, they will go back up again. I'm just thinking maybe in a slightly different place. Now, on the end wall, it's kind of the same situation. A few things I only built last year, like the saw till, but that can come down. I've got a hammer rack, my plane storage, my make essential emergency whiskey, and the first aid cabinet. Now, big job to get this all out into the garden and stored. Luckily, I live alone, so a lot of it could go in the house and the bigger stuff could go in the garage. I had to wait for a nice dry day to actually be able to get this done. Can't believe how much space I've got now uh, and, and how echoey it is in here. Strange. Anyway, that took under two hours. Amazing, considering how long it takes to actually set everything up, to actually break it all down, put everything in the garage, not long. So there's still a few bits in here, let me show you. So in here, I've kept the table saw because it's big and heavy, I don't want to move it. And I've got the air filter on it because I need to do a lot of cleaning. So I'm gonna leave that in here and have it running. I've got the workbench in here because underneath it, it's got my dust extractor and I'm gonna need to do some sanding. And tucked in the corner there is the planar thicknesser, again, because it's so heavy. So what I can do, when I'm painting the ceiling is do one end and then move it and do the other. So where I've taken things off the wall, there's holes everywhere. So next job, go around and fill them all. So anyone that's been watching this channel for a while will know how mean I am. I didn't want to spend any money on this project. So I just used up all the random bits of filler I had and I had some paint left over from doing the house. This is just a Dulux matte white. So with the holes filled and sanded, I gave it about three coats of this paint and it really started to brighten the place up. This gave me plenty of time to catch up on some podcasts. Now I want to get those tools back on the wall and this time I want to mount them on the end wall and put them on a board. I was thinking about using some nice birch ply, but I quite like the look of OSB, so I've got some of that. I managed to buy some that's six by four so I didn't need to cut it down at all. But to make it more interesting, I do want to add a border to it. So I've got some four by two timber I'm just roughly cutting down, and then I can use the big old bandsaw to resaw it. With all the bits cut in half, I can then take them into the workshop, run them through the planer thicknesser, just to give them a quick clean up. I use the Japanese pull saw just to get the four pieces cut down to the size I need. I'm gonna mount them with some screws. So I just use a drill with a countersink bit to put some holes around the outside. I want the border to contrast nicely with the backboard so I'm going to stain it with one of my favourites, some India ink. Just one coat and that gives it a nice dark black finish. It can now be attached to the side of the OSB 
by just driving some screws up into it. While it's laying flat, I position the tools, moving them around until they're in an arrangement I'm happy with. Once I was happy, I took a picture so I could repeat it while I was on the wall, but thinking back, I could have just got the holder screwed in place while it was laying down, and that would have been much easier. Sometimes I watch these videos back and think, why did I do it like that? Anyway, that's what I did. So now I've got some boxes put on my workbench just to help get it to the right height and then I could get it screwed to the wall. Now I could just get all those holders screwed in place using that photo I took while they were already in place as reference. Now everything could have just been screwed to the wall, but I think with the board and the border, it just looks a bit more interesting. And I have my Badger Workshop sign just to go above everything. So one of the major issues this whole rearrange was trying to solve is making it easier to move all my camera equipment around. So I've got this big lamp on like a tripod stand. And what I've purchased is this telescopic swing arm. So here I've got a nice big post and I'm going to screw it on there and that's pretty much, no, not pretty much, it is exactly centre of the workshop. So it'd be good for filming in both directions. So let's get this mounted. This mounting plate had lots of holes in it so I could drive some nice long screws into the timber behind. The light can then come off the tripod and go onto this new swing arm. It really has a lot of movement to it. It can go up and down, back and forwards, slide in and out, and pretty much I can get any angle I want, I think. Right, so I think that's all I'm planning to do for now. So tall walls up, signs up, looking good. Hand planes, first aid kit there, and chisels back up there. Loads of floor space here. The light on the wall is gonna work great. It folds up out the way. It can move around and pretty much get every angle I could ever possibly want. Um, I'll now show you the other end. Right, so you can see at this end, I've got the air filter exactly where it was. I've got all the tools that are on mobile bases pushed up here. And I've put the table saw here with the dust extractor behind it. And I think this is actually gonna work really well here for filming. So any cuts I make of the um, table saw, all the lights and the cameras are gonna be in the middle and then I can swap it all around. The only thing I need to do is sort out an outfeed table for this, but I have some ideas and some parts, so that is gonna be an update coming soon. So where the camera sat now, that's kind of all clear space, so I'll just show you that. So you can see with the bench pushed back there, all the tools up that end, I've got a huge amount of, well, pretty much half the workshop is just completely empty and the light folded against the wall. So. I think this has given me so much more space. It looks so much brighter and neater. There is some more bits to go back. The walls are pretty empty, but that gives me some room to expand. And as I say, there definitely be a few more bits about organization with the outfit table and some changes to the uh, table saw set up. Um, so I think that's it for now. I'm really pleased with this. Um, you'll see a lot more soon. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.